Hi everybody and welcome back to another video for those who are new around here. My name is Chris. And I'm Medina. We're a full-time eBay reseller couple based out of Aberdeen, Scotland. So today we're going to show you one of our, we picked some massive video games, a lot of retro video games. We also did go to a car boot sale, so we'll start with that first. I'll start with the car boot sale because I'm deeply hurt because I took a fall. It's terrible and it's icy and Chris reminded me 17 million times, make sure you're not going to slip and fall, which I did. So it was not a big deal. It was more resellers than actual yeah, people, selling, people stuff. selling stuff. So um, that was a red flag as soon as we got there. How, however, Chris managed to pick up these uh, military miniatures. There is one of them, there's another one, and that's the third one. Um, they're all little um, model kits, model kits yeah. aren't they? And two of these games? Yeah, two random games, two one random not games even worth the, anything. Um, on Xbox 360. doesn't matter that they're not worth anything because we have so many that I like to bundle them up and that tends to yeah, sell well. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think with at the moment with car book sales, they are technically back on, but for the volume of stuff that we need, it's just not worth it for Maybe us. Maybe April forwards, April yeah, after think, April. I think yeah. probably more, a couple more months, and we'll start. I mean, we went back to try it to see it, and there was it wasn't even worth going, was it no. for us? Because we list so many things, we list over a hundred items a week. We need large volumes, and and car book sales at the moment just don't cut it for us. No. So we rely on other pickups. And luckily, we've managed to score a massive load of retro video games. So we'll fire right into them. I'll show you some of the stuff. We'll go pretty quick because there's a lot of stuff to get through. The first up, a couple of consoles. We have a boxed Nintendo 64 there. Decent enough condition. These sell all day long and pretty fast. The box is nice and so we shouldn't have it for long. There's a nice Mega Drive here. Um, nice and boxed. The box is in good condition. Everything is in pretty good condition. I mean, the guy had a massive collection yeah. and everything was in, in such a immaculate So that's condition. a Japanese box for anyone who doesn't know. That's a Japanese PlayStation box, but it does have a PAL uh, Mega Drive 1 inside it. So it's just a box that's Japanese. Another console here. We have the GameCube, again boxed. The box is in fair condition, but it does include the box and that shouldn't stay around for long. And I have Chucky and he can speak. He can do many other things as well, but he can speak. <laughs> yep, so we've got a couple of other things apart from video games. Chucky being one. The box is in beautiful condition. And while we're at for long. Chucky, let's show Groot as well. That is Groot. He is um he looks very lifelike. It's it's a bit creepy if you ask me. But they're really cool. Both of these as yep. well. Yeah, another console for me here. It's a nice PlayStation 2. Again, it shouldn't hang around for long. Nice easy listing and we sell these all day long, especially boxed ones. Right, I take this big one. What is this big one? We'll do it together if you want. Yes, please. So this is Rock Band, the special pack. You're going to spin it around. So this includes the drums, it includes the guitar, the game. It's the biggest pack you can get and it should sell for a couple of hundred quid. So nice, big to test, but we should do well with it. And it's going to be a nightmare to ship. Good. Then we have, what do we have here? What's in this box? Ooh. So we have PSP games in this box. I'll go ahead with the PSP games. What do you think? Yeah, show some. Yeah, there we go. So we have titles like The Warriors. Then we have random ones like Tennis. Then 2010 FIFA World Cup, South Africa, Gran Turismo, um, Lego Star Wars. And it just keeps going and going. Another The Warriors. Uh, what else do we have here? One more. Final Destination 2, like there's there's, there's a mix of some, there's some decent titles in there. They also have a couple of batteries as well, official Sony batteries, which are cool to see. Again, the console is there, and a couple more games from the PSP. They have good titles like Ghostbusters there on the PSP. And you've got things like Capcom Classics Collection, Legends Power Up, uh, Little Big Planet. More classic games, so some nice stuff there for the PSP. There's a cool controller. Is this for the GameCube? That's no, yeah, that comes the Nintendo 64. That one. Oh, there we go. It's a Nintendo 64. It's a cool one, though. Look at see through. Loads of box Mega Drive games as well. I'll fire through a couple of them. We've got some really good stuff there, including some rare stuff. You've got Jurassic Park there in the Mega Drive, you've got Predator 2, one you don't see every day, Robocop versus Terminator and Miss Pac-Man one we sell all the time. Um, I have Gauntlet in my hand. Um, I will have, I'm really bad at these, bear with me. 
Um, the Revenge of Shinobi, Streets of Rage and Golden X. It's like a 16-bit cartridge. Yep. I don't know so you get three means. games in there. So three of the best games they brought out for the system are in, in that bundle, which is a really good one to pick up. Desert Strike. I have X-Men. I have Hockey Game. I also have Paperboy. There's, there's a lot of cool ones. Street Fighter, Streets of Rage, which what's the difference? Streets of Rage, there we Streets go. I know you like two. this, don't you? Yeah, Streets of Rage 2. Come more for me. You've got a nice rare one there. We have Castlevania there on the Mega Drive. Goes for about close to £100, which is nice. You've got Rambo 3, another one you don't see very often. Lion King, great platformer we sell all the time. Mickey's World of Illusion. And it couldn't be a Mega Drive pickup without Sonic the Hedgehog, the original title. Look at that. Then we have a Toy Story one. Um, there's also a Outrun, and this one is called Eswa City Under Siege. I, I don't know. Let's go. Cool. Yep, some, some more Mega Drive titles here. Five from the again Pitfall, which is a remake from the 70s. You've got Spider Man there. Pretty good game on the Mega Drive. Street Fighter 2, one of my favourite Street Fighter titles there. And you have Alien 3, another one we pick up all the time. There's a couple of rare ones I wanted to show you guys as well quickly. So we have Batman and Robin, which is extremely hard to find for any Mega Drive collectors will know. And we have Hyperstone Heist, the Turtles game. I know that really hard one to pick up. Right, I have here, I have some PlayStation 1 games. We have Evil Dead, Hail to the King. Then we have Blade, I actually know who he is. Um, then we have Spider-Man, then we have Ready to Rumble 2, we have Dark Forces, Star Wars, and we also have Star Wars Demolition. For me, some PS2 titles, nothing again spectacular, but things like Smackdown. Uh, I'll pick out the main, the main titles of the franchise. Um, Gran Turismo 3 there, Ma um, Monopoly. Underground 2 is another decent title, and Lord of the Rings always does pretty well for us as well. Right, now we're on to these fancy ones. Yep, yeah. have you done all these ones yet? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep, yeah, perfect. Um, right, so I will have the N64, the fancy ones. I really like these because they're in cardboard boxes, and whenever the cardboard box is in such good condition, you just know that it's going to be good. Um, International Superstar Soccer 98 I have here. Then we have Top Gear Rally. Then we have V Rally and we have Wave Race. There we go. Wave Race is obviously one of the, the first releases for the console. I've got a bunch of cartridges here for the 64 as well. So you've got Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Fire Through the Mall. You've got Pod Racer. You've got All Star Baseball 99. You've got another Pod Racer. You've got South Park. You've got NFL Quarterback. And you've got one of my favourite games on the system, Lilac Wars. Right, then I have, you take this, and I'll take this, I have here WF Attitude, I have World Cup 98, and I have Donkey Kong 64. So we've got some big hitters here, we've got some really nice titles. We've got this one, not so rare, but in nice condition, always sells well, Super Mario 64. We have one you just don't see very often, Cyber Tiger, one I don't see very often, it should fetch a pretty penny. You have Castlevania. The guy must have been a big Castlevania fan because he has it on a few different systems. And we've got the classic Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I have GoldenEye 007. I have F0X. And I have Perfect Dark, 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 something perfect. Perfect Dark. <laughs> that was a follow up to GoldenEye. Another one you don't see very often, it's quite rare, is NBA Jam 2000. You've got F1, this is in everyone's collection. You've got a must for any N64, Mario Kart 64. You've got 1080 Snowboard in there, another great game for the system. Right, I have a Bugs Life, the Disney Pixar one. I have WF Warzone. And I also have Jet Force Gemini. Gemini. There we go. If you want to show these as well, Lavina, and I'll grab some GameCube games yeah, as well. Yeah, just see. So there's a FIFA Road to World Cup 98. Still in very good condition. Um, then we have a Nintendo 64 controller pack. Memory card. Um, it's a memory card. And then we have an expansion pack as well. Expansion pack is definitely needed for some games you play. For me, we also picked up a PS2 and some nice GameCube stuff. 
You've got Mario Sunshine there. You've got Viewful Joe there, another decent one. Courtsides, basketball. You've got Luigi's Mansion, another good one for the system. Sells well. Champions League game there. And you've got Metroid Prime there on the GameCube. Is that more stuff there? Oh, yep, okay. That's so GameCube stuff. GameCube stuff. There we go. We have Viva Race Blue Storm. We have Zoo Cube. We have Star Wars Rogue Leader. We have Virtual Striker 3. We have Burnout. And we have Batman Begins. And also, there's another one I didn't see Prince of Persia Warrior Within. Even more titles here for the GameCube. We have Resident Evil. We have Die Hard Vendetta. We have Mario Golf there. We have Mario Smash Football. Great game on the GameCube. We have Star Wars Rebel Strike. We have Mario Power Tennis. We have International Superstar Soccer 2. You can see there. So plenty of decent titles for the GameCube. There's some more left here that I've seen. There's a FIFA. 2007 there's a Star Fox Adventures and there's also Mario Kart Double Dash which is in a super good condition there's a bunch of PlayStation 2 games you won't go through them all there's about another 50 of them a couple of fair titles but a lot of bundle oh. stuff Adina will bundle up together I've showed them you showed them yeah so I think that's probably about it yeah some PlayStation oh. 2 games and things like FIFA Colin McRae so it'd be great with bundle up consoles nothing particularly special on the PS2 but the console was nice so, a really, really decent pickup. Yeah, loads of vintage good. stuff, loads of good selling games. Obviously, Mario games always sell really well. Easy listings, very yeah. easy listings. Although I never know what is going on around me, um, I always research every single item before listing it. And it, when I see video games, Funko Pops, and I don't know consoles, that is straightforward. There is, there's nothing to yeah. be panicked about there's not too much research to go into it because it's pretty obvious what it, what they are and how you should list them and what the system is yeah really good titles triple a titles for loads of retro systems there from your zeldas to your marios to your metroids so we'll do really really well with this pickup obviously the consoles are a bonus as well the n64 is lovely and yeah. we're really happy I mean, that should keep us busy for the rest of the week. That's just one pickup, which is yep. great, which is what we want, isn't it? Yeah, so. and, and you need it. You need to be realistic because car boot sales will not be given anything before April, May. Not a chance. For the scale we're on. Yeah. If, you, if you're just part-time picking a few yeah. bits up here and there, you can... Never miss one. Yeah. Just be there. Grab stuff <laughs> from the car boot sale, steal seven charity shops. Just where we are at the moment, obviously both being full-time, we're taking it to the next level. It's just not enough for us at the moment. But we'll get back into it in the yeah. summer. You know? Yeah, exactly. So thank you very much for watching. What did you think about our pickup? What was the favourite thing that we picked up out of the lot? For me, it's probably the box N64 that was in really nice condition. For me, it's going to be the Chucky because I'm really scared of it. <laughs> Again, it's in really lovely condition. Some great titles as well. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. See you next Bye. time. Bye. It won't stop with the force. Ha <laughs> ha.